Alright everyone and welcome back. Yep, we're doing this again. Welcome back to Valkyria on F1 2015. Today is part 4, can you believe? Nearly <laughs> um, a year after the first episode um, went up. But <laughs> yeah, we're back and I really should not have given you guys false hope that <laughs> um, after episode 3 things will be going back to normal because uh, they weren't going to. So I apologise for that one but um, 20, F1 2016 is not far away now. And I really want to finish this once and for all. And I've been enjoying F1 2015 like a lot more recently now that I've had a bit of a break from it. So I want to get back into doing that and doing more single player races. And I want to finish the series off because I hate that I never finished it because it was like the best series I've ever done and one of the most enjoyable ones I've ever done. And there you go. I think I was just sort of putting too much pressure on myself to make the videos like as good as like possible, I mean I, that doesn't make sense at all but I feel like I was putting too much stress on myself like the China one, I, I feel like I like went way over the top with the, some of the stuff I put into it and uh, yeah I think I was just sort of like lost sort of the enjoyment from doing that so yeah I'm gonna try and like obviously try and make this as high quality as possible but not like put, like go out of my way and like make it so that I don't actually enjoy making these like because but yeah I obviously always enjoyed making the 06 ones so I want to make it more like that again so yeah I hope you enjoy those because enjoy this because I mean I know a lot of people enjoyed those and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy like a series like um, if we have it in like a similar format to that again so uh, yeah I hope like if you were like all this time like waiting for this to come back then I hope you will have like a nice little countdown to F1 2016. Finish this up once and for all and then we'll be nice and ready to start a fresh new career mode on F1 2016. I really can't wait for that one either. And uh, yeah without further ado then, let's look at the, um, well, actually no, have a quick recap of China first and of course a disappointing race for Vettel in that race, he qualified on the front row of the grid, managed to challenge the Mercedes but that spin near the end of the race while battling for the win with Hamilton cost him not only the chance of the victory but also a podium on the last lap passed by Valtteri Bottas who came from somewhere in the midfield to get on the podium so it really was a disappointing day and he still really doesn't hasn't shown any sort of like superiority in the Ferrari camp compared to teammate Kimi Raikkonen so he needs to sort of get a good result here in Bahrain and uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it and have a look at what happened in qualifying. So first of all bear in mind that this was recorded quite a long time ago, back when F1 2015 didn't have the option to um, select what uh, what qualifying format you wanted to uh, have for each race weekend. So it is one qualifying session to decide the grid for this and the next episode in Spain. Anyways, getting into it then, it was ideal conditions for qualifying under the night sky in Bahrain. And Bell's initial lap time was a 34-1, which only was good enough for four fastest. He stayed out and did another lap then and improved to second actually with a 33.4. It wasn't until the third lap where the magic happened and he managed to set a 132.8 which actually got in pole position with Rosberg and Hamilton within a tenth of a second behind him. Once again Ferrari taking the fight to Mercedes in qualifying but can they do it again in the race? So here is the grid then, Vessel on pole from Rosberg, Hamilton and Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo doing a good job in the Red Bull to split the two Williams. Nazar and Grosjean both putting in excellent performances to outperform their teammates. McLaren are just about holding on to the back end of the midfield but they still have a lot of work to do to catch up. And down the back, quite a few seconds off the pace once again, is the man rushes of Stevens and Merry. Welcome to Sakir for the start of the Bahrain Grand Prix. We hope you're ready for an exciting evening's action. On pole for today's race is Sebastian Vettel, who'll be feeling very confident ahead of the start. He put in a wonderful performance yesterday, and if he drives like that today, well, he could be unbeatable. He was driving on another level yesterday, so it wouldn't be a surprise if he just pulls away from the field and is untouchable. But as we know, anything can happen in Formula 1, so we'll just have to wait and see. Lewis Hamilton described the win last time out as one of the best of his career. With the strength of that Mercedes this season, he has the perfect tool at his disposal to get more race wins. Well, we all know how good Lewis can be when his mind is in the right place. 
He can be really hard on himself though when things don't go his way, but when they do, he's pretty much unbeatable. So we're here on the grid then. Vessel on pole position in the Ferrari, his first for the team. And yeah, here's the strategy. Next. Like the the um, first, all three of the first three races, I think, it's been pretty much a two stop race that's been planned. And uh, yeah, should be doing that again today then. As the lights come on now then. And away they go in Bahrain. And it's not been a good start from Bell here. A lot of wheel spin. And already Rosberg passed him and Hamilton the Mercedes. Already getting up in front. In fact, Raikkonen's having a look as well towards Tim 1. He's on the inside. Hamilton's gone out wide, and in fact, Raikkonen's gone slow on the apex. So Vettel actually manages to recover back to second. But Rosberg is already pulling out a massive D there at the front. He's had a fantastic start from second. He wasn't even on the clean side, but yeah, still just getting straight through into the lead there. Not a good start at all from Vettel. But he has managed to at least keep second place here, though. As uh, yeah, we're now going to skip to the end of the lap then. And across the line, Rosberg already with 1.7 of a second, 1.7 second lead then. Across the line, Hamilton looking round the outside of Vettel into turn one. And he's got the place, it looks like, as Vettel quite cautious there into turn one. And through goes Hamilton into second place. And Vettel will really want to try and get that place back if he can. Because once these Mercedes get away, they're really going to pull away. Just look at what Rosberg's doing as Vettel does at the inside of Hamilton into turn four. But he's gone deep though, and Hamilton just gets it straight back on the exit. Obviously, we saw Hamilton and Rosberg here have a fantastic battle in 2014. So we can sort of expect the same again here today, as Vettel dives at the inside into the hairpin. And through he goes, but is Hamilton going to get a good exit? He is, and he gets back in front. Right and right behind as well, so he'll be looking for any chance to pounce on his teammate here. If he makes a mistake, as we go out onto the, DR onto the back straight, no DRS yet though. As only lap two, but yeah, Hamilton looks like he's sort of in energy saving mode there for a little bit. That may have been Vettel's chance, but uh, no, he's not close enough, and the Mercedes engine's still too fast there. But he has got a good run here, though, through this fast section, and he's right in behind the Mercedes here. And into the right hander, he dives up the inside, and through he goes back up into second place. And that can be crucial then in getting a good result today. I was looking at the start replays now, then, and Vettel just getting the complete swamp by the Mercedes and his teammate there. You can see Hamilton finds himself out wide and uh, yeah look at it starting from Rosberg and uh, yeah that's just Christmas and birthday all rolled into one from there. Vettel didn't get a good start and Rosberg just was able to go straight into lead, take the race in line and uh, yeah he was sailing from there but you see the start from Raikkonen again like Vettel didn't really get a good start but sort of in the secondary phase it seemed he was a lot quicker. Gets right the inside here then looking at Hamilton as well and in fact it looked like he was almost going to run into Rosberg there. And uh, yeah, he ended up getting slow with the apex and got hung up to dry in turn two a little bit as well. As uh, yeah, we then see the pass that Vettel made on lap two on Hamilton to get himself back up into second place then. Skip into lap five now then and Vettel's still just about hanging on to his position over Hamilton and Raikkonen here. But he's gone deep into turn ten and in fact Hamilton passed him on the exit now then. And with DRS to pull away so that is not good news and he really uh, ha has to try and dive past him as soon as he can to stop those Mercedes from running off because Rosberg has already gone at the front so really it's just got to be a case of trying to split them today but who knows Rosberg got a puncture when he was leading comfy in China as Vettel dies at the inside once again does it punching identical move and get back in second as I was saying obviously Rosberg had that puncture in China while he was leading comfortably and Vettel and Reichen were battling with Hamilton as Vettel Runs wide there again in turn 10. And was right by the barrier in fact that time. But he's got a bit of a gap to Hamilton at this point. So he managed to get away with it. But yeah really struggling on the tyres at this point. No one's made a stop yet though. So we're expecting him in this lap. As he has a massive slide there coming through turn 11. And he's just all over the place now. Uh, no grip left on the tyres. Just inventing his own circuit here. As uh, he's got a second lead over. Hamilton at this point then he's four and a half behind Rosberg the gap sort of steadying out a bit as everyone starts to uh, struggle a bit on the tyres as uh, around the final corner then sliding it about cuts across the apex and uh, yeah barely any real grip left to make it just that um, through that final corner then as Rosberg's in front in fact most of the field comes in on this lap then tyres seem to be hitting the cliff on this lap then so teams obviously feeling it better to pit both cars at the same time rather than lose another 
few seconds on one tyres then, but it has cost Hamilton and it has cost Reichman as well. So that's going to give Vettel a nice bit of breathing space here. And of course it's given Rosberg even more than he already had then. As we're going to re uh, rejoin then in uh, what's going to be fifth place I think, because Alonso is about to come past. The two McLarens and also Danny Kvyat are the only ones that have yet to pit in this race then as Vettel rejoins in fifth place then. Skipping to the middle of the lap and Vettel already catching right up to the back of Fernando Alonso in the McLaren and it looks like Alonso is about to be passed by the car that he was quick to jump out of at the end of last season and through goes Vettel then with the better engine and the better tyres nice and easy move from him there and Button and Kvyat are both going to pit at the end of that lap then so Vettel moves up to second place and yeah he's a bit closer to Rothberg actually it seems there but by the end of that stint it seemed that Rosberg had a comfortable lead and really nothing happened in that middle stint Hamilton I managed to catch him back up a bit but yeah not enough to really challenge for position so yeah it was a good middle stint there from Vettel to actually maintain that gap to Hamilton and not let him uh, have a chance to even have a look at an overtake as he comes in then for the medium tyres the prime tyres to get to the end of the race from here and out the pits he's going to come and still in second place then as Max Verstappen's a lap down there he's having a miserable afternoon in the Toro Rosso as uh, yeah second place then for Vettel with 10 laps to go can he hold on let's get to lap 21 now then and yeah we've got Hamilton right on the tail of the Ferrari now then and he's got DRS and this may be the moment then when he tries to go for the pass on the Ferrari and he's got the racing line here but Vettel's going to stay there on the inside and Hamilton goes out wide not wanting to collide and yet yeah, Vettel back up in second place with Hamilton all over the back of him and surely it's only a matter of time there with nine laps to go and the Mercedes looking so much quicker than the Ferrari Rosberg over 11 seconds clear at this point and uh, yeah really looking like he's got this one in the bag as Hamilton dives at the inside into the final corner but he's kind of slow on the apex there a little bit of contact uh, and again on the exit Vettel's sliding there about and yet he maintains second place there and run a bit wide as uh, Hamilton's now going to have DRS once again to attack but the Ferrari looking a bit quicker there but Hamilton's still going to have a look then up the inside into turn one and it looks like no once again still on the apex Vettel gets a good exit and he maintains his second position so yeah can Hamilton actually make this move stick then we'll have to wait and see as into turn four now then Vettel uh, manages well, it's actually a little bit wide there and on the curb he loses it big time brush of the wall seems to have got away with it though no damage but Hamilton is through and Vessel is going to have to once again try and dive past him as quickly as he can in fact I'm not even sure if that was a move there but Hamilton just jumped out of the way for him and yeah he goes back up into second place then so yeah we saw these two coming together I think back in China uh, yeah a few little controversial instance there and of course Vettel ends up spinning or defending for the lead as Hamilton's now got DRS and he's now the one on the attack and yeah into turn 11 and he seems to have got that one all wrong then trying to go up the inside and he's lost himself quite a bit of time there as we uh, look at a replay then of earlier on in the lap where he was trying to pass him into turn 4 not close enough for that point but Vettel a tiny bit wide there although it's really on the exit where he gets a bit wide out onto the kerb lose it big time somehow didn't damage the car and uh, yeah Hamilton gifted second place there then but into the hairpin and yeah he just seemed to turn out the corner then when he saw the Ferrari coming but yeah it hands Vettel back the second place and in this race as we skip to uh, five laps from the end then and Hamilton once again all over the back of the Ferrari into the hairpin and he's just got it all wrong again so not really sure what that's all about but Yes, once again, given that a little bit of breathing space here to work with. And um, yeah, it looks like Hamilton still may be close enough here to actually get DRS though. So he may not be completely uh, clear of the Mercedes just yet as we head down now towards turn 11. And into left-hander, Hamilton dies for it once again. But once again, he runs himself out wide. So yeah, as he's starting to lose his cool a little bit there in the Mercedes, he's clearly got the quicker car. But uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to be putting it to much use at this point onto lap 26 and once again he, he's way off there in turn four like going for like a crazy move and then just running it so far wide and he's 
dropped now to nearly two and a half seconds behind. So, yeah, really not sure what's going on with him here then. As we get to the penultimate lap now, just over a lap to go. As we're going to go to, into the final corner now then. And Hamilton comes from so far back. And he spins them both out. Uh, Hamilton pointing backwards and Vettel has spun it. And uh, he's managed to recover. And Reichner is up into third place. Two Ferraris on the podium. And what was Lewis Hamilton doing there? That was a crazy move from him. He came from so far back. Spins himself out. Haas spins Vettel. Raikkonen's going to just say thank you very much. I'll take that podium place. And yeah, you can see there just how far back he came from. Vettel turned in. Obviously not expecting him to be there. But yeah, what was going on with Lewis Hamilton in the final part of this race? He just seemed to be desperate to take that move. Take that position off of Vettel. And yeah, just get it wrong so many times. And eventually ended in contact with the two of them. But Rosberg... A flawless race from him then to take the win. Vettel in second and Raikkonen is going to be third. So it's going to be a double podium for Ferrari. And you can see Vettel drive with that one then. That's his best result so far with the Scuderia. And uh, yeah, for the first time it's, he's looked comfortably faster than Raikkonen as well. So he'll be delighted with that. But the person who will be most happy will be Nico Rosberg with that win. But yeah, there you go. Vettel with his best result so far, a second place. And uh, yeah, with Hamilton then. Not having a good race, that's the first time he's been beaten this season. He won all of the first three races, but he's not going to win this one then. As uh, even Raikkonen having a bit of a smile there on the podium as well. As, uh, yep, yeah, that is the top three then from Bahrain. So there's the final results then. And in fact, look at that then. Both Mercedes in trouble with the stewards for something. Rosberg with two penalties there, which actually gave him 10 seconds. But Vettel so far back at the checkered flag that it made no difference in Hamilton with a five second penalty which you would assume would be for that instant on the penultimate lap with Sebastian Vettel. Let's have a look at the race director then and uh, yeah a few warnings for a few different drivers then. Vettel for track limits a few times and uh, Hamilton actually got a penalty for a collision with Verstappen at some point according to the race director so that's interesting and Rosberg apparently ignored the yellow flags twice on the final lap to earn himself 10 seconds worth of penalties so uh, yeah, he should be very grateful that he was so far ahead then and that result did not affect his position or his race win. So yeah, both Mercedes are in trouble with the stewards and uh, yeah, they've had a pretty much flawless start to the season so far in terms of race wins, but yeah, both of them picking up penalties today and uh, yeah, Hamilton actually cost him a position then. He had actually finished behind Felipe Massa according to the results, but the, move, the, the penalty puts him down to sixth place. Um, when he crossed line in fifth. So, yep, looking further down then, we've got Felipe Massa, a good fourth for him then from seventh on the grid. Valtteri Bottas maintained his fifth place from the start. Daniel Ricciardo then finishing seventh with Danny Kvyat, his teammate, some way behind him in eighth place. Pastor Man Nodem managed to recover a point, as did Jensen Button from 18th on the grid, so a good result from him. Then you got Fernando Alonso, only just behind his teammate actually, in 11th place with the two Force in is quite disappointing there in 12th and 13th. Then you got the two Salbers in 14th and 15th. And uh, looking further down, we've also got, I think I saw a penalty then, or yeah, I did. For Roman Grosjean, down in 17th place, a dismal afternoon for him. As for Max Verstappen as well, then down in 19th, splitting the two manners. So yeah, a good result there from Will Stevens, considering all 20 cars managed to finish the race. In the driver's standings, then Hamilton still has a 25 point lead though uh, in the standings, then over Kimi Raikkonen with Vettel a further five back and Rosberg only a further two back now then so yeah Hamilton a, really a poor race from him but he's still got a good gap in the championship with Massa and Bottas both moving down today then and uh, yeah staying pretty much the same further down but Button actually moving up past Verstappen today and Maldonado with his first points this season moves ahead of Sainz Alonso and Hulkenberg still Perez, Ericsson, Stevens and Murray get to score points then Let's look at the constructors, and it's a 23-point lead then that Mercedes have over Ferrari. No changes whatsoever in the constructors today, so uh, yeah, not really much to report on that one. And still very close in the battle for fifth there between Lotus, Toro Rosso, Sauber, and McLaren. So yeah, that is it for this race. Hope you enjoyed it. As I say, I'll be uploading these a lot more often now. Then try and get it done before 2016 gets released. So yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate that. If you've got any feedback as well, any comments, uh, feel free to leave them down below as well. You can also check the description for links to my Twitter and Twitch. Other than that, I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.